And our hot Hollywood report, they're back for a haunting, get this, 10th season. 10th season, I can't believe it. Sci-Fi's Ghost Hunters returns Wednesday, which is sure to send a chill down your body in this summer heat. Here with more and a closer look on the investigation are the paranormal investigators themselves, Jason and Steve. How are you guys? Hey, Sean, hey. how are you? Thanks How's for having going? us. It's great having you. I can't believe it's been 10 years now. Wow, I remember when you guys Neither launched this. It's crazy. What, 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 first of all, <laughs> what's, it, what's it like have, having such a success on your hands? Well, honestly, we've never looked at it like that. It's just, it's been an incredible experience to see the field really come to the forefront and so many people, because uh, you know, we've been going for 10 years, but we also air in 140 other countries as well. So just seeing the success of that and seeing the field come to the forefront and become uh, so much more well-respected, it's just been a great experience. Yeah, it's awesome. You know, and to be able to do what we love, uh, you know, for a living is really unheard of in this field. Uh, there's really no such thing. So we're quite fortunate to be in a position where uh, the paranormal really is our lives. And uh, that just, it's awesome. No question. It's really cool to be able to do what you love. By the way, you've mastered the humble brag. By the way, not sure if you know, we're on in like 700 different countries. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> I like that. It was great. I like it. So let's no, we didn't even know there were that many countries. <laughs> did, you, did you know there were that many countries? Because we're in all of them. Uh, no. <laughs> no, this... <laughs> Go center. So what are we going to expect for the 10th season then? Because obviously year after year, you're, you're, you're coming up with new stuff. Uh, obviously you got to pull out all the stops. Yeah. yeah and we've, and we've, uh, we're dealing hand in hand with Fluorf thermal imaging camera, which set us up with some equipment to field test before it went out to on the market. Um, that, that came in really handy. We were able to catch some great evidence with, with that. Um, just uh, some great equipment that we've been using this entire season. Yeah, though. I mean, that FLIR camera, it's something that is accessible. It's right there at the ready. Uh, you, know, you just need it. Mounts you have right a thermal the camera, mounts right to your uh, smartphone, and uh, it's been phenomenal. And this season, uh, we've caught amazing evidence. Uh, we're really helping our clients. We've been to a lot of places we haven't been able to go to before, and uh, I'm really excited. I mean, the experiences have been great. The history has been awesome. The evidence has been amazing. And the nice thing is a lot of the equipment that we're using and people will see most of it, the, the common individual can, can get and purchase and investigate oh, yeah. themselves. And I think that's important because this day and age where technology is really just blooming, more and more people are able to investigate. And that's got the, the good sides and of course the bad sides yeah. where there's too many things out there now that help people fake evidence. But the fact of the matter is everybody can be an investigator. No question. What, what were you guys doing uh, when, when you started the whole uh, TAPS situation? What, what, what were you well, before this? Well, well gee, I, was a, I was a technician. I used to work for Subaru and Mitsubishi and uh, then got into the plumbing field. And I was in that for many years, uh, you know, as, because TAPS has been around since 1990. Mm -hmm. and a lot of people don't realize that. We weren't casted for a TV show. Yeah. We existed long before a TV show. Yeah. And uh, go ahead, Steve. Yeah, I was a, a police officer and, and uh, worked in the jewelry industry with my family. And uh, that was it. I was a cop and investigating the paranormal. And um, actually, when I, when I met Jason, uh, it was long before that. I was a, a manager at a Pizza Hut at about 17 or 18 years old. And people don't realize that. Steve and I go way back where every member of TAPS has ever been here. Steve and I have known each other prior yeah. to that. Um, and Grant, who was my right-hand man on the show, uh, Steve and I knew each other for you know, seven, eight years before I even knew Grant. Wow. That's crazy. That's to go from stuffed crust pizza to the paranormal, that is an impressive trip. <laughs> All the stuffed crust, the bane of my existence. <laughs> that was such a pain in the butt. It just seems like it's so tough to do. <laughs> I want to know why it, it was. It was awful. You're bringing back memories of flashback. I was being to bring a plumber to the paranormal. You know, <laughs> think about it. I was dealing with some paranormal you're issues as a plumber. Oh, I can God. tell you that. Uh, Guys, uh, you had a worse job cleaning up after. <laughs> <laughs> I was wiping sauce off my shirt. Yeah, oh, that was my goodness. Let's move. 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 We are so proud of you. Congratulations on 10 seasons, and uh, we look forward to seeing you for the 11th. Thank, Thank you so you. much for yeah, your time. Every Wednesday, 9 p.m., Sci-Fi. You said it. Go check out the new season of Sci-Fi's Ghost Hunters. They begin the investigations of the paranormal 9 p.m. Wednesday nights. For more information, the website is on your screen. If you missed any of this interview, it'll also be on our website, VegasMorningBlend.com.